Okay, now uh, we are going to do exercise 1.4, question number one. Now, there are two children in a family. If the first child is girl, then find the probability that both the children in the family are girls. Now, here the question is two parts. If the first child is a girl, then if a girl, first child, girl, hai, so we have to find probability that the other child will be girl. Hoga. So both children in the family will be girls. So what will we do? After that, if we take an event, then after that, we take an event. So let's say we start with, first let's find the sample space. Sample space U is equal to two children. So girl, girl, then girl, boy, then boy, girl, and then boy, boy. So number of outcomes N is equal to four. Now we say event A. Now, you can take any event A. Le sakte ho. Okay? I'll do different variation and different sums. So, here I'll take event A is that first child is a girl. So, A lenge hum? A is equal to girl, boy and girl, girl. This is the option where first child is a girl. So M is equal to 2. So probability of A is equal to M upon N, which is equal to 2 by 4 is equal to 1 by 2. Now we take event B. As even B kya lenge? Find ke baad jo diya, usko lenge hum even B. Both the children, both the children are girls. So, B is equal to, only one option we have, girl, girl. So M is equal to 1. So probability of B is equal to M upon N, which is 1 by 4. Now we will take event. Now in conditional probability, you have to remember, you have to take first one event, then the second event, then A intersection B. So intersection of both the events, event a intersection B denote both the children are girls, which is same as probability of B. So I write A intersection B is equal to girl, girl. Dono me common, so dono me ye option same hai. A may be hai. B may be hai or A may be hai. So A intersection B may jo common hai, that is this option girl girl. So again probability of A intersection B is equal to your M is equal to 1 M upon N which is 1 by 4. Now what we have to find if the first go if the first child is a girl then we have to find the probability that both the children in the family are girls. So, if the first child is a girl, then probability that both child are girls is conditional probability. Now what given what? 
so what is available to us that if the first child is good and what we have to find that both the child are good so we have to find b given a which is probability of a intersection b upon probability of a which is equal to 1 by 4 upon 2 by 4 which is 1 by 2 and so got it you understood now now if you have taken event a as both the children are girl and even b as first child is a girl then you would have taken a given b so you have to precisely see over here okay, when you write like this probability so this is what you have to find and this is what is given so ye if ke baad wala hai okay aur ye then ke baad wala hai ke then find so this is find and this is given so this is what we have to find and this is what is already happening that is why we say it's a conditional event proceed now Question number two. Two six phased balanced dice are thrown simultaneously if the numbers on both the dice, if the sum of numbers on both the dice is more than seven, then find the probability that both the dice show the same numbers. So over here, now again it's a sum of a conditional probability. Now what we have to do over here is we have to decide two events. Now let's take, now here I will take, if ke baad jo hai, okay, if this is happening, usko I'll take event B, if ke baad wala, this I'll take as event B. And then ke baad wala, find jo karna hai, that as event A. So, let's take, first let's find sample space. So, U is equal to, two dice are thrown simultaneously. So, I comma J, where I is equal to J, is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So n is equal to 6, 6 are 36. Now we take event A, denote that both the dice, both the dice show same number both the dice show same number so a is equal to 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 and then 6 6 so m is equal to 6 so probability of A is equal to M upon N is equal to 6 by 36 which is equal to 1 by 6. Now B, event B denote sum of numbers on both dice is more than seven 
is more than seven. So B is equal to. Now be careful over here. We want two no dice pe jo numbers aate hai. Unka total should be more than seven. So one 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 two one three one four one five one six one six ka total is seven. But we want more than seven. So we start with two five. We can't take. So we take two six. Then three four. We can't take. So we take three five. Then we take three six. Then we take four three. We can't take. So we take four four. Then we take four five. Then we take four six. Then we take five three. Five two. We can't take. Then we take five four. Then we take five five. Then we take five six. Then we take six two because six one we can't take. Then we take six three. Then we take six four. Then we take six five. Then we take six six. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So M is equal to fifteen. So probability of B is equal to M upon N, which is fifteen by thirty-six, which is equal to five is up. We can't take because thirty-six. Yes, five by twelve. Twelve threes up and five threes up. Now over here, what we did is we found out one event, event A, then event B. Now we have to find event A intersection B. So event A intersection B is equal to. Now what is common in both? Let's see. Four four. Five five and six six. So common over here is between them is four four five five six six. So M is equal to three. Therefore, probability of A intersection B is equal to M upon N. Which is three by thirty-six, which is one by twelve. यहाँ तक करो. Now question number three. Okay, it's a very simple question. Now, among various vehicle owners visiting a petrol pump, eighty percent vehicle owners visit to fill petrol in their vehicle, and sixty percent vehicle owners visit to fill air in their vehicle. Air, air in the vehicle, yaane, unke vehicle mein jo tires hai, usme hawa bharne ke liye. Now, fifty percent vehicle owner. Visit to fill air and petrol in the vehicle. यानी दोनों कार्य के लिए 50 percent vehicle owners जाते हैं. Find the probability for the following event. First, if the vehicle owner has come to fill petrol in his vehicle, then find that then find that the vehicle owner will fill air in his vehicle. यानी वो अगर पेट्रोल भराने आता है तो क्या चांस है कि वो हवा भी भराएगा सेकेंड इफ द व्हीकल ओनर कम्स टू फिल द एयर यानी हवा भराने के लिए गया टायर में हवा कम था तो क्या चांस है कि व्हीकल ओनर पेट्रोल भरवाएगा सो क्वेश्चन पता चल गया सबको इज द क्वेश्चन क्लियर मैं रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा कि तुम अपना वीडियो कैमरा ऑन रखो ओके ना यहां पे, यहां पे, लेट्स डिसाइड क्योंकि प्रोबेबिलिटी तो ऑलरेडी दिया है 
तो अब हमें इवेंट डिसाइड करना है सो लेट्स डिसाइड द इवेंट सो लेट्स टेक इवेंट ए नाउ इवेंट ए हम ले लेते हैं Among the various vehicle owner visiting the petrol pump, 80% vehicle owner visit to fill petrol. So, vehicle owner visit to fill petrol. Now, already given probability of A is equal to 80%. So 80 by 100, which is 8 by 10, which is equal to 4 by 5. Event B, vehicle owner, visit to fill air in the vehicle, so probability of B which is already given 60%, so 60 by 100, 6 by 10, 3 by 5. Now, we find out event A intersection B, which is again given, event A intersection B is what? Visit to fill petrol and a. Again, probability of A intersection B is equal to 50 by 100, which is equal to 1 by 2, or 5 by 10, which is 1 by 2. Now, let's start first one. First, mein aisa kaha hai, if the vehicle owner has come to fill petrol in his vehicle, then find that find that vehicle owner will fill air in his vehicle. Now, pe, we have to find conditional probability what? Here we have to find conditional probability what? I'll allow you all to unmute yourself and give a reply. P what I what given what A given B, B given A what kya diya hai if the vehicle owner find kya karna hai vehicle owner will fill air so fill air ke liye event kya liya tha humne event liya tha B so it will be B given A which is equal to probability of A intersection B upon probability of A, which is equal to 50 by 100 upon 80 by 100. 100, 100 cancel, which is 5 by 8. Answer 1. All of you understood this? B given A kaise aya? Okay. Now, Second one. Now, second one kya aega? Obviously, A given B, no prizes for guessing it. So, second is probability A given B, which is equal to probability of again A intersection B upon probability of B, which is 50 by 100 upon 60 by 100, which is equal to 5 by 6. And so, Now, put one. Ah, one minute. Ah, bolo paisa kya doubt hai tumhe? You have raised your hand. Uh, sir. Hmm. Uh, sir, five fifteen ko OCM ka lecture. Oh, aaj hai tumhara? Okay, okay. Thanks yes. for coming. I'll take two. Huh? 
Over here, eighty percent customers hold a saving account and fifty percent customer hold a current account of a nationalized bank. Ninety percent of customer hold at least one of the saving account and the current account. If one of the account holder is randomly selected from this bank. Holds a current account. Find the probability that he holds a saving account. Now over here, you have to first write what is given. So probability of A is equal to. Okay, first let's decide what we take as event A. Event A is savings account. So probability of A is equal to 80 percent. So 80 by 100, which is equal to 4 by 5. B is equal to current account. So probability of B is equal to 50 percent. So 50. Okay, over here you have to find the conditional probability, but here the tricky point is this statement: ninety percent of customers hold at least one of the savings account and current account. So here, pe holds at least one of the saving account. And current account. So what is given is P A union B is given, which is equal to ninety percent. So ninety by hundred, which is nine by ten. So now first you have to find out P of A intersection B, and then we start with the conditional probability. So how will you find out P of A union B is equal to P of A Plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. So P of A union B is nine by ten, which is equal to P of A is four by five. A काम करते हैं. Don't take nine by ten. Take ninety by hundred only. That will be easy. Ninety by hundred is equal to eighty by hundred. Plus 50 by 100 minus P of A intersection B. Therefore, P of A intersection B is equal to 80 and 50. 130 minus 90 is 40 by 100, which is equal to 2 by 5. Now we go back over here. If one of the account holder If one of the account holder holds a current account, so we have to find that he holds a saving account. So find karna hai saving account. So A wo pehle likhenge, or if ke baad do jo diya hai usko hum baad mein likhenge. So probability of A intersection B upon probability of B, which is equal to forty by hundred upon. 50 by 100, which is equal to 4 by 5. Answer. Any doubt? Anyone understood? P A given B. How will it come? Did you get the answer? No. We will continue in the next lecture now. Okay bye bye all